Let's actually have an A-10 run come in and deal with some of this uh, stuff right here. I'm not really sure what the angle is going to be, but it's going to come in like this, like south to north, or east to west, or maybe at a different angle. But we're going to find out here in a second. Here comes our A-10. Whoa! That was insane! Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Call to Arms, and I personally never thought I would ever say that again. But we're back in Call to Arms, and I'm really back for two reasons. Reason number one is that I upload some Men of War videos lately, and you guys really seem to enjoy them. And I thought, well, you guys seem to enjoy the modern mission or modern video I put up. Why not go into Call to Arms, which is basically the same thing, but it's the game by itself. You don't have to use a mod for it. Funnily enough, I am, <laughs> I am running a mod for more missions. Today, we're going to be taking over the seat of a helicopter pilot, an Apache helicopter pilot to be more specific. I will link the mod in the description and uh, it's actually really, really well made. There's like 16 missions. As you can see here, there's Russians attacking an American convoy. It's gonna be our job to fly over to the convoy, but not just that, we have to actually guide a friendly convoy, a second convoy, to the first convoy, the one you just saw being ambushed. We're gonna be taking over the controls of an Apache. We're gonna have um, fire and forget missiles, ATGMs, and a 30 millimeter auto cannon. And the best thing, obviously, about Call to Arms, in my personal opinion, is the fact that you have this first person perspective. So obviously right now we're just in the helicopter seat, but we can actually jump into the pilot seat or the gunner seat, and this is actually really, really cool. I mean, I. I kind of had a little bit of a, of a gamer orgasm or nerdgasm over this earlier when I saw this is possible. I totally forgot that this was a thing in Call to Arms, but it is actually really, really cool. So obviously right now we're fighting the Russians, we're engaging their tanks, I just took down a couple of BTRs. I believe we can even increase the altitude of our helicopter, which we can, which is just awesome. Like really, really awesome. The Q and I believe the C key, it's not the C key, it doesn't really matter, there's a lot of infantry over there. Turn my thermals on with the zero button. Trying to target these guys as we're trying to deal with the enemy tanks. That one's down. Another looks like a T80. I'm like, that one's definitely down. BMP2. Oh, that might actually already be. Well, now it's definitely destroyed. And we're gonna obliterate the rest here with our uh, fire and forget missiles. Looks like we cleared this area of hostiles. Actually, I, I, I lied, it's the uh, control key. It's the left alt key to get you down, and it's uh, the Q key to get you up. Anyway, in case you play as yourself, uh, don't forget that, because I did forget that. Actually, there's a lot of enemies over here still. I don't even know. I guess we got a new objective. We might as well clear out the rest of these enemies right here. And it's, it's weird, because this game, while having no real first person, you know, this, the game isn't a first person game by default. Like, when I, when I think of Call to Arms, I don't think of the first person aspect of it necessarily, like, right away. I don't think this, of this game as a first person game. But when you look at it like this, it really reminds me, especially when you're in control. That looks really cool. It's got a lot of, it's got even got like a, a net right there to probably try and catch shrapnel. This really reminds me as if I'm basically playing armor. Look, there's a BTR-90 up there. We got Tigers. We got another BMP-2. Well, let's actually switch it. I just have to be reloaded. It's awesome. We're going to switch to the 30 mil. Let's do a lot of damage right here. There's another Tiger moving in. And... No, that guy's Tiger. Wow, the crew just flew out of it. We're blowing up sandbags left and right. I mean, this is literally as if you're playing a little armor mission uh, from the workshop. And it is crazy how... I, I I always I was never a fan. I'll be honest with you. I was never a fan of Call to Arms, and I think that that's something I should mention. I, I was never a fan of Call to Arms, um, but today and mainly after the comments you guys gave and, and the support in the last minute war videos, I really wanted to try it out again. Mainly because I thought, well, obviously you could do men of war mods, which I'm still gonna keep doing. That's definitely for sure. Starting to clear as many of these enemies as possible while we're here. I'm still going to keep doing Men of War mods, I don't think you have to worry about that at all. But there's something just really awesome about having a game that's specifically made, obviously, to, you know, do this. There's actually one more left in the old, uh, the old compound over here. 
And it does feel it does feel really smooth. Obviously, I believe this actually is at a um, this actually might be a X64 versus just the 32-bit on um, Men of War Assault Squad 2, and it does feel really really smooth, especially like large explosions or large things happening that you would oh there's a guy why is he standing right there. Well, he's been killed now. You would assume they would lag out a lot in Assault Squad 2. They do pretty damn good here. So we got another, what is that? That looks like a T-80 again. There's a ton of ERA armor on it. Holy shit. We got a BRDM-2 up there. That one's shot in the butt. BMP-1 and another tank. Let's uh, load up the missile. That's a perfect hit. Now we're going to just strike at them with our fire and forget missiles and just absolutely turn this into uh, just basically a movie. Oh my god. There's just a few enemies left. We're looking, I guess I can do just one right there. Turn on our heat signatures here for a quick second. Oh, <laughs> he was looking the wrong way there. Oh, we got some artillery back there. Maybe this is a good time for us to just uh, use our heavy, again, fire and forget missiles. Definitely didn't look as cool as I was hoping. I mean, those things are still very much alive. So we'll have to use some AT gems on them to uh, permanently take them down. That one's down, and the other one, those, what is Akatsias? I couldn't really tell, but they looked like it. They had a weird camouflage scheme, though. So we still have a couple AT gems left. Our uh, convoy down here, the road's been cleared for them. And now we're me meeting up with the actual recon team. So we have to get this convoy up to the front. Now we have to look for enemy contacts. We do have a BMP uh, one. I see a, a ZU truck. We have uh, some light armor. Again, another BRDM. Uh, we have a, well, we had, I should add, really add, had a gas tiger there, but that one's been long gone. Oh, we got T-80s moving in. Nope, that one's down. We got more infantry approaching. That's what we got the fire forget missiles for. This is turning into an absolute slaughter. We do have reinforcements coming in in the form of a SWAT team over here trying to help out the uh, friendly forces who are here in the area. Actually, lots of police. Enemy... Uh, KA-50 or KA-52 Alligator been destroyed Lance right on top of enemy reinforcements More enemy vehicles approaching Switching to the ATGM, that's a BMP That's a miss, we're not lined up with the target 3, 2, 1, fire Missile away, that one's down Another tank, and aim and Fire, perfect hit One more T-80 it looks like uh, oh, we're actually reloading, so we can't do much about that right now. We're going to just engage some infantry, switch on our thermal, start to get some better eyes on. You, nope, you're trying to heal in the middle of the combat zone there, man. That's not a good idea. Oh, more reinforcements just walking into the battlefield, getting absolutely obliterated. at teams are back on station. That one's down. That one's a miss. We need to actually destroy that tank that was closer. Uh, he's right. BMP. He's down. T-80. Reload. We actually need to get some range. There we go. He was actually in the minimum range for it. There. We couldn't even hit him. That was uh, a little bit scary. That tank is tracked for right now. We do have another one that is also tracked. Actually, it's being repaired, but, well, try and repair that. Good luck with that one. Missiles away. We're going to fly over, do a little flyby with our guns as our rockets are also reloading. Oh man, that's just absolutely brutal. This like is basically Arma, but a lot more action-packed. Uh, Arma obviously takes uh well I guess there could be some very action-packed missions. I shouldn't lie about that, but still. Oh, we need to get this before the convoy gets hit. There's a man trying to repair it. Not able, not able to get our missiles. Oh, it's probably because we're off the map. Not able to get our missiles on station right there. That one's down. Trying to save the convoy, and I think. We uh, destroy a little bit of civilian destruction. Sorry about that. That wasn't uh, my intention there. I oh, a rockets hitting the convoy that's approaching. Was that a German martyr right there? It looks like a martyr that is supporting the convoy. Taking out more infantry. Switch back to thermals. There cannot be many more alive in here, but let's just blow this entire building up. I think we got most of them though. There's a couple more right here. Scanning the map as well. Empty this out, and I think that is pretty much the ball game right there. So now we just have to make sure that they reach the actual convoy. There's police running at the convoy to up see. Oh, there's actually one underneath the helicopter right there. They're probably very happy that they uh, <laughs> they saw the convoy coming in. So let's see. Looks we got uh, what is that? I can't really tell. That is a it looks like a striker, but like a German version. We got a broken Abrams. They're mounting up in the vehicles. All right, so 
I believe there's a martyr right there. <laughs> there's just an absolute... Look at the turn on that one. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Look at that one. Oh, shit. All right, so I think now they're going to get back to base. And we're going to have to mount a defense. So what we're going to do is uh, when we do get to the defense part, we'll uh, quickly pause the game or pause the recording. And then uh, we'll set up our defenses and then we'll come back to you uh, pretty much when the assault begins. The helicopter, I believe Eagle 1, uh, that we were playing as earlier is uh, probably refueling and rearming after that like heavy combat it was in. So I don't think we get to uh, control that today, sadly enough. M109s are immediately firing. Whoa, is it, was that, what was that it? Oh, I was hoping it maybe fire a little bit further. We're gonna get this uh, Humvee to keep pushing up. We have eight tens and drones in the area, but they're low in ammo, okay. So we do have some more fire support. We have uh, four A-10 runs and five drone strikes. Can take out little enemy vehicles, can take out enemy vehicles. Okay, sweet. So our Leopard here is trying to deal with the enemy technical that's pushing in. Let's switch back to AP because you actually need to take out the T-55. As you can see in the map, there is a lot of enemies approaching. We are reloaded and ready to fire. There goes a target down. There is just a ton of enemies approaching us here. Switch to the MG3. Maybe we can do some damage to this technical. It's only 762. Obviously the MG3 is just a uh, conversion of the MG42 made to take the NATO 762 instead of the German uh, Mautzer 792 ammo. But yeah, even still, I wouldn't want to sit in a, in a pickup truck that's getting hailed by a 762 ammo coming out of an MG3. Lots of infantry here in the field. We got, oh, light. I didn't even see that coming. Thank God we did. I looked at the map. I was like, what's that red thing approaching us? Like, I kind of got it. We got 12 minutes to try and hold out. We're not going to uh, use any, uh, oh, we did lose the dingo. That means we've got to put these guys onto the map here. Have them uh, mount the wall. Hopefully we can hold on. These guys have MP7s. I'm not really sure how effective those are going to be at uh, at this range, but let's see if we can take over the Mag 7 here. Uh, hang on a little bit. We're reloading. And ready to fire. Okay, there we go. There's actually awesome. Taking out infantry from afar. Trying to keep them obviously away from our base. Wow, they're getting absolutely destroyed out there. Trying to those guys okay let's I put a machine in our phone in these guard towers uh, here I think let's take a look at him let's have him reload his gun that does look really cool he's right next to some Marines he's got his uh, mg4 which is actually a really fast firing machine gun chambered in 556 I believe the mg5 is a 762 version of the mg4 if I'm wrong on that however don't quote me uh, please don't uh, hate on me too much we are in a very good position here to just lay down fire into the valley of murder approaching trying to oh we got the gunner on that techie we were loading reloading reloading Let's switch off this one where's the uh, ACV 15 switch to the 50 cal hello friend Ooh, man, tow missile saying hello. We lost the uh, the boxer. You see, I remember the name this time. We lost the boxer APC, but maybe, um, you know, our reinforcements will bring some new ones. We have another T-55 approaching. We're about two-thirds of the way reloaded. It would be nice to take this out before it gets too far. Oh, we got a way closer target than that one. Three, two, one, sight shot. Hey, got him. All right, sweet. Let's actually have an A-10 run come in and deal with some of this uh, stuff right here. Not really sure what the angle is going to be, but it's going to come in like this, like south to north or east to west, or maybe at a different angle. But we're going to we're going to find out here in a second. Here comes our A-10. Whoa, that was insane. I believe the A-10 30 millimeter gun fires those uh, uranium depleted shells and. Uh, yeah, I don't think you want to get shot by one of those when you're just a guy. Well, not, a, not in general, but especially if you're just a guy sitting there in the middle of the field and you don't really have much to do. Artillery is still coming out. I'm not really sure what's more effective here. Let's actually set it to direct fire. Maybe they'll be able to help us out a little bit more. Wow, just direct fire. One of the APCs I just saw driving by with a BMP. That's definitely not going to be coming back at us ever again. What do we got coming up next? We got more techs. I think those might be a little bit more armored ones coming up. We have another technical. So let's use AP on that. I don't see why not. We do have a little bit of ammo. There's our first 
T80s, these are, oh, they're T72s. You know I kept calling them T80s earlier, I'm so sorry. We have a perfect sight shot on the turret right here, but we are reloading, 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 reloading. It takes so long. And there we go. That actually didn't do as much as I was hoping. Why do we have a US soldier? Sean Williams, get back here, soldier. He's all the way back up there. That, again, didn't do anything to that. Try to figure out what's the, uh, what the, how we deal with these things. It's called a drone strike on his T-72. I kind of want to see the missile come in. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, it didn't take out the tank, but that technical went flying. I can't seem to be take. I can't seem to take out that vehicle though. Missiles. What do we got? We have a technical over there. Don't worry to worry about that too much. Missile is ready. I just saw. Oh, Akatsias. Are they Akatsias? Is it not one of those? Yeah. See, I was right. I was right. I know. Dude, I want to use more of these strikes, though. Those were awesome. I guess they would be effective against tanks, too. So let's use an A-10 gun run right here and get zoomed in and turn off the HUD. And let's take a look at this one. Oh, double. Maybe. Wow. Well, I mean, Jesus. Those are all done. Oh, Apache strafing run. Eagle 1 ready for takeoff. That means uh, we have... Ooh, okay. Somewhat effective against all units. Well, we do have a lot of units back here. Uh, actually, let's hit this T-62. Did I keep calling? Did I keep? Did I just kept calling those T-62s, T-55s? If I did, I'm so sorry. There's a lot of infantry still coming in. Drone strike. Let's get a call out a drone strike right here. There's a lot of infantry around that. The Apache is coming in. We're gonna see the drone strike here in the background. Wow, that just blew up a lot of units right there. Apache is coming in. I hope they don't get shot down. It's getting shot at, however. Okay, we need to take over our Abrams. We need to deal with this enemy tank. That's a good hit. That one's down. Another T-72 driving in as if it's nobody business. Can we hit the lower plate? Is it going to matter? Eh, it's damaged. Not, uh, not destroyed, but the patch is just flying over. It doesn't really care a lot. Gun run complete. We have uh, three drone strikes and two A-10 strikes left. Let's hit this with a drone strike. It'll be really one big blow. Watch out, Apache. Get the hell out of there. The SPG-9. Oh! Oh god, turrets flying everywhere, body parts, helmets, weapons, turrets literally going sky high. Our Apache is coming back to base, probably for a quick uh, rearm after that round. Not really sure where it's going. Mortar, keep engaging. Actually, I said keep engaging. There we go. And the Apache is... I'm assuming it's gonna... Yeah, okay, it's gonna land. I was just wondering what it was gonna do. So, looks like we lost some tracks. We have Tigers coming in. Does that mean that the Russians are here? Considering uh, there's T-72B3s incoming, we got Russian uh, Russian Gavardia coming in as well as uh, baby, basically right next to GRDM. GRM, sorry, I don't know why I said GRDM. Right next to GRM. So the Russians are definitely working here with the GRM. Tow missile, perfect hit. Doesn't destroy the B1 outright, but definitely does enough damage to where it's tracked. Let's get another gun run here. Can we get the BMP2 at the same time? That would be perfect. It's about to be lined up. Oh, man. That actually didn't get it taken out. The BMP, though, that one's no longer alive. This needs to really... What the hell are we doing? We need to get this thing out of here. Get a strafing run. I don't really care where. Just get it up. We need everything we have in the air. We got five minutes trying to hold. This tank isn't going out. It just doesn't want to. Do we have any TNT? Oh, there we go. Finally, someone got a side shot on it with maybe an AT4 or maybe it was a um, Panzerfaust. So much stuff incoming. We still have one drone strike left. Let's hit it on the left side here. There's a lot of uh, infantry, which is the main. Oh, Tiger hit directly. Don't know if that might have been a man fire round again. Clearing up the map. Apache is going in. We have two more tanks over here. Let's call another gun run. And then we're going to be down to just, uh, well, that's pretty much it. We're going to be down to just that. Oh, we got paratroopers behind our lines. Enemy Spetsnaz. What's happening? That's not good. Wait, really? That's a lot of infantry. My Humvee is down. We need to get this APC. We're working on these guys ASAP. We cannot lose the line. All right, that's one down, two down, three down. You know what sucks if only I didn't call my helicopter in earlier. 
get oh uh, this these guys have so much health smoke out there's it's kind of dangerous as a city here we need to take out these infantry we cannot just let them come at us because they're already coming at us from the front let alone from the from the back almost at the, the butt well i guess they're coming from the butt but trying to deal with these uh paratrooper and spetsnaz which just jump around instead of as fouls rpg vampires rpg 29s it looks like all right our mortars now just turned around the helicopter is landing right in front of hostile forces they're not really paying attention to this little APC. Hello there, Chief. All right. Please drop that A as well. Actually, that might have been a VSS. Oh, you're down. Thank God we still had this. More? KA 52s. How the hell am I going to shoot those down? That was a perfect hit, wasn't it? Oh, reload, reload, reload. We got one. Fuck you, pilots. That was a perfect hit. We need one more hit, it looks like. Oh, but we just we sniped a pilot. He's gone. And there goes the other one. And we can finally deal with the remaining... Oh, come on. Oh, the... Oh, it's broken. The the gun's broken. Or the turret might be. Luckily, we caught him to walk into our trap right there. Oh, man. We have an Apache Strike Horn available once again. We have one more gun run. Let's call it in right here. We have Terminators. Aren't those... Oh, no. They're, never mind. They're BTR, BTRTs. I thought these were Terminators. Look at it here from the tank round. Incoming! Oh, man. That's... Awesome. Did a lot of damage there to their line. We have a BTR, BRD, I can't even tell anymore. It doesn't matter. It's all already gone. Our Apache's going in back into the field. Two and a half minutes. I'm just trying. I'm, I was about to say I'm trying to find targets. It's not even the fact that I'm trying to find targets. It's the fact that I'm trying to find something to shoot at without, like, you know, trying to find what target is the best one to shoot at at the moment. There's obviously going to be different targets being appeased. We have helicopters. We have tanks. Oh, that's a perfect shot inside the turret. Can we hit that, please? No, oh, that didn't do anything. T90's like, nah, we won't care about that. We just a guy with an AT standing right here. And you're gone. Hey, there goes that turret. That's all that matters. We're going to switch to direct fire on the artillery. We need you guys to provide better support. AT Jim, AT Jim coming out, just bouncing. Doesn't even care what happened to it just now. Oh, our tanks are dying left, right, and center. We don't have a lot of units left here. I feel like my line actually has held relatively well, considering the amount of just punishment they're sending at us. Let's take out this BMP, please. One more second. And you're gone, or at least you're, yeah, you are repaired or damaged. I don't know why I'm saying even. I'm trying to keep up. Our tank crew... Jump back in this thing. We're down to the last minute and 20 seconds of the defense. Push up forward. With my MG4, still a guy left in the tower. He is down to barely any health. Need to get him to heal up. Is he a false me? Or he oh, no, he's a Panzer gun here. Never mind. The Marines next to him. And the sniper. Actually, this guy's a Marine, but this guy, I thought this guy was an American for one second. He wasn't really looking at him, but. He is taking out targets. We have 50 seconds left to go. This has just been an insane... The fact that our tanks were dug in was probably the saving grace right here. That is nothing. Didn't do anything to this T-90 that's just looking straight at us. AT Gem coming in. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, our tank is damaged. This one is totally messed up. We need to repair this one. 27 seconds. The M60 here just got its turret blown off, even though it already had its turret blown off. T90Ms are now joining the battle. This thing is just here to waste their lot, their time. Hopefully, get back on the anti gym. Oh no, they didn't do anything. Ten seconds. We're trying to hold BMP two. Oh, it's down. AT gyms. It just fired. Zero seconds. We've survived the attacks. Now, where's our reinforcements? Oh yeah, boys. Here comes a Puma. But it's actually, this is a really insane APC that the Germans have been working on. I'm not sure if it's actually made it into um, the, the like full service. And I think the Martyr is still very much used. But the, the Puma, I actually saw that in armor before. It is like ridiculously futuristic. There goes another T90. 
Oh lord, that starts the artillery back to indirect fire because, I mean, look, we have Apaches coming up everywhere now. Wait, are these the production Tigers, aren't they? They are. They're uh, German Tiger helicopters. And they're just getting absolutely hammered right now. We got the UAF coming in from the other side with T-M60s. Uh, Backed up with infantry. Let's continue this and uh, look at the carnage here. They're getting shot in the ass, shot in the front. They don't know where to look. We still have more reinforcements incoming. Thank Lord for the cavalry. Like, I mean, I don't think we're going to hold that for another three or four minutes. Let's actually send the uh, Apache strafing run in here. And, uh, man, look, we, uh, we had some stuff done here. We actually went... I almost forgot this is the same mission that we drove the convoy, obviously, from here all the way across the map across these checkpoints up the cliff we protected them as they picked up the uh, the friendlies they even had their SWAT vans and police cars out here and uh, yeah they made it back to base I mean obviously we lost some heroic brave men trying to defend but that was awesome I really hope you guys enjoyed I have to say call to arms maybe making a comeback in my eyes um, this was awesome I really hope you guys enjoyed love to see you in the uh, in the next one. Cheers.